Hello, this video is to show you how to access your recordings and how to record your sessions in Blackboard Ultra. If you're using your Ultra to record synchronous classes, I would go ahead and create a session and name the session according to the day, the class, and the time. If not, if I'm just using it as an interactive whiteboard, then I wouldn't bother creating a session. I would simply go to Course Room that is available in every course shell and click on Course Room here. And please make sure you check on Allow Recording Downloads, Share Audio, Share Video, and you will join the Course Room. Once I am in my Course Room, Please make sure you're, you click on share audio so when you speak, it gets recorded. And also click on start recording because for, for right now, I want to use it as an interactive whiteboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to take my pencil and start writing. 2x plus 3 is 5. And I'm going to show them this is a circle. Please bear with me here. I'm just trying to write something. This is a line. And then what I'm going to do is if I want to go ahead and open up a PDF or a PowerPoint, there's another video on that. I already uploaded them. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my chapter two PDF, share now, and double click on it. If you see my whiteboard is all gone. That's uh, one thing you have to note that when you use your annotations, they will disappear as soon as you move to a next slide or next PDF. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. Zoom in further. Use my pencil. I'm going to scribble something. And I am going, I think that should be enough. And I'm going to go ahead and stop my recording. Click stop recording. It says recording has stopped. Once I know that, I'm going to go ahead and leave the session, right? The two ways of leaving a session. I can leave the session from right here. I don't want to submit anything, and I'm going to click or just simply close the button. So once I come back to the main page, on the upper left-hand corner, you will see a menu, and you will see recordings. So sometimes this recording might take some time to upload. So please be patient and you can refresh it. But I'm going to go ahead and click on my recording. But before I do that, I'm going to show you what options you have. You can watch it, download it, edit the name, or simply copy the link. I suggest copying the link and sharing it with your students. But if you want to name it according to your class, I highly recommend doing that because students know exactly what recording they're looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and simply watch now just for this video purposes. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to take my pencil and start with is five and write something. This is a line PDF or a power. Go ahead and click on my, if you see my whiteboard is all gone. So that's exactly how you will be able to see your um, recorded session. I'm going to go ahead and play it. One thing you have to note that when you use your annotations, I turned off the volume because I don't want both my voices overlapping one another. But that's how it's done. I'm going to pause this and I'm going to come out of my Blackboard Collaborate. And when you go to your left hand side menu, you will see all the recordings that you have done and I hope this helps.